Conversion tracking is one of the foundational pieces within our Google Ads accounts. We have to know that what we're advertising is actually working and there's some sort of success metric coming through. For the longest time, one of the big shortcomings, in my opinion, of the Google Ads platform is how you can track conversions and attribute it back to the campaigns that you have in place. For the longest time, you had to choose one or a group of conversion actions to show up in the conversions column, but it didn't matter if a specific campaign was designed to generate those types of conversions. Say you have a campaign that's generating demo requests and another one that's generating content downloads. It's a very common scenario. If you wanted to track both of those as conversions, you had to put them both in the conversions column and each campaign, no matter what the primary objective was, was going to track the other one, which could give you false positives or false negatives, depending on what's going on. So one of the things that has rolled out recently are called campaign level conversion actions. Now we can choose which conversions we want to track for a specific campaign in Google Ads. It's really easy to set up, so let's jump in and I'll show you how to do it. In your Google Ads platform, just click on the campaign that you want to change the conversion action for. Head to settings. And you'll see this list of the different settings types. You have to click additional settings to open up the rest of them. And you'll see conversions is one of the first ones. In gray, it'll always start off with account level conversion setting, which basically means that it's using the default conversions that you have set for your entire account. You can then choose the radio dial and it'll let you select conversion actions. It'll then bring up a list of all of the conversion actions that you have active within your account. If you click on one of them, it'll select over here and you can hit save. And now that campaign will track only the calls from ads conversion action. The thing that's a little bit different here is if you click a second conversion action, we get a warning down here that says selecting more than one action creates a new conversion action set which you can use with other campaigns. So effectively what's happening is that Google is now going to create a default set of conversion actions that will always fire together that you can attribute a name to. So we've done this in a number of our different accounts where somebody might, we might be trying to focus on people generating content downloads, but if they also request a demo, we want that to track as well because that's kind of a secondary bonus, better conversion action. And we don't want to lose sight of those coming through. So we've created different conversion action sets to track toward that goal. So basically what we would do is we would choose all of the conversion actions that we want to within that conversion action set, give it a name, and then when we're done, we would just hit save. I don't actually want to do this, so I'm not going to click save. You can also manage your conversion action sets in a different portion of the account. If you head up into tools and settings, into conversions, You'll then be defaulted to a list of all the conversion actions that you have in the account to choose from. Up in the top next to conversion actions, they have an option for conversion action sets. You can see that we already have a group here. Um, if you wanna create a new one, just click the blue plus sign. And now you get the same editor that you got within an individual campaign, but you can create these and then they will be part of the selected groups that you can have within a campaign. Let's say that we went ahead and created the search content one. This has content downloaders, calls from ads, and two demo request conversion actions because there are two ways that people can request a demo. So those are the four groups that we wanted to have in here. If we head back into our campaigns manager, within an individual campaign on the settings tab, when we open up the conversion action setting, we can click the choose conversion actions for the campaign, select conversion actions, just like we did earlier. And now we can see conversion actions, the original builder, but we can also toggle over to conversion action sets that have already been built. And we can click search content and then hit save. And those four conversion actions that we saw in the conversion manager within the account will now be counted on this campaign, but not the other campaigns in the account unless they also have been chosen under the search content piece. The biggest benefit of this is now we can have more conversion actions being attributed to the conversion column because we can get a lot more particular with which ones are showing up with which campaigns. In the past, there were a lot of conversion actions that I wanted to track, but instead I would click no under include in the conversions column and then I would have to segment by conversion action later because I didn't want it to be a false positive within the account for campaigns that weren't driving toward that conversion action and it would make performance look all kinds of crazy. So now you can use either campaign level conversions for just one action at that campaign level, or you can create conversion action sets and attribute them to any group of campaigns or any single campaign you want. So your conversions column has gotten much more meaningful and now all of the optimizations you make on it at all the levels in the account have gotten much better. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos.